Okay, here we're looking at the original equipment wheel on a 2011 Mercedes GL 550. And the problem is we have a excessive amount of corrosion here that is disturbing the look of this wheel. Now, you'll notice that many of these wheels are actually plate, uh, plated or painted. And as you can see, this vehicle came from a northern state such as New Jersey. Actually, I know it did because it had in New Jersey inspection stickers on it. Yes, this is a used car just from the auction. Now, what are we going to do? We are going to replace these lug bolts with original equipment Mercedes and I'm going to freshen up the wheel center cap and what we want to do is try to just buff this area very lightly not not damage it we're going to show you the tool we're going to use and then we're going to paint this kind of blend it in so it somewhat matches now how about wheel rash or I should say curb rash I got just a little bit but some of this kind of will actually buff out with our, our tool. I'll show you in just a moment. Now, really, if you're going to completely restore a rim, the way we do it is we actually have to take it off the vehicle, dismount the tire, send it off, and they'll actually put the wheel in a immersion cleaner. All of the weights and everything will come off, and then they'll actually do some serious metal work there as far as building up the surface with a type of aluminum rod or aluminum MIG welder and grinding it off. And then of course completely painting the wheel. We're not going to go that far. We just want to take care of the cosmetic items. Okay, here we're getting ready to remove our wheel. This is actually 17 millimeters. Uh, here is a relatively thin wall impact socket that I'm going to be using exactly fits Now one of the problems that you'll find on BMW Mercedes Audi some of these aluminum wheels will oxidize and corrode to the steel hub and we've actually sprayed this with uh, Blaster PB blaster and that often helps quite a bit and that's actually a few days ago and uh, what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and attempt to remove the wheel. Now, if the wheel doesn't move or come off, you see some people start to beat on it with a hammer, a steel hammer. That would be crazy. Don't ever do anything like that with a mag wheel. Another method that we find very helpful is we just simply take a 2x4 and just lay it right here. Now, remember, I'm pushing on the back of the, back of the spoke here, and I'm pushing up against the rotor. And I can put a tremendous force. And remember, wood is not going to mar the finish of the mag wheel or the rotor. Okay, in removing these lug bolts, we had to get out our breaker bar and our lever pipe, but they came right out. Now we're going to be replacing those. This is the center. The best way to remove a center is to just push it from the other side. If you try and pry it, with a small screwdriver, oftentimes I see that it's very difficult to not leave a mark and that's gonna be very noticeable. Maybe not so much on this because it's not too good looking, but uh, they're on a new rim. And that's one thing, so a lot of customers are very sensitive about their wheels. Okay, here we see an assortment of wheel centers and this can do a lot to bring out the look of a used car. Now, these are actually all purchased on eBay Motors, very inexpensive. Now, these are factory lug nuts. Here is the original lug nut. Now, this factory nut, lug nut requires a special socket. And of course, if you do this for your customer, please, please, please take the special socket and put it there with the spare tire. Now, you can take a conventional 17 millimeter and remove this lug bolt, but what happens is it will tear up the finish 
on the plating there on the cap of the bolt. So you certainly don't want to do that. You'll notice the big difference, 17 millimeter, and there we have our special Mercedes emblem style socket. All right, now how are we gonna clean up the wheel? Well, let's see what we got. We got a wire brush. We have the special Teflon cleaning tool, nylon Teflon. Here we have the pads, a couple of different coarsenesses. And we'll use compressed air to drive our die grinder right there. And we'll go ahead and attempt to clean up the wheel. Now, this is our silver wheel paint. And uh, we get this from our friends at FD, FCP Euro, and uh, it's reasonably priced. This is supposedly what's going to match this wheel. Uh, we're gonna kind of dust it on, so it just really kind of help cover the corrosion area after it's been polished. Okay, here we're gonna attempt to kind of clean up a little bit of this corrosion on our wheel. And we wanna be careful we don't excessively create a very negative effect but as you can see this certainly looks bad now what happens the wheel will be thoroughly washed after this first operation okay we're going to start out with the wire wheel and we're going to look at it before and after and i just touched the wire wheel right there and it knocked that corrosion right off so let's see if we can clean this area a little bit okay here we see our aluminum wheel from mercedes and it seems they actually have a type of plating on the wheel and what I did is I just wanted to clean up this corrosion. You want to be careful about getting too aggressive. I might give it another little shot there and what am I using here? I'm using the wire wheel right here. I think this will be okay and then I'm going to wash the wheel. Okay so what we're actually using is the air die grinder with the combination of the wire brush and the gasket cleaner and see, I've certainly lifted up that corrosion and removed part of the plane, uh, plating. But like any good artist, you gotta know when to say when. That certainly looks a whole lot different than the wheel you saw before. And on the vehicle, it will look nice. Okay, here we're using some of the Permatex Anti-Seize Lube. And what this is gonna do is prevent these threads from seizing there within the hub. And uh, here in two or three years, these need to be removed, they're going to come right out without any trouble with just a conventional impact. Okay, here we've cleaned up the wheel with it off the car, obviously, washed it very thoroughly. And there, I, these are actually factory. Now, here is the original style center cap. It's actually lubed, just a little silicone lubricant so that it slips right in. And there we go. Now that looks much better, much better than what we saw before. 